Today sees a typical Moroccan route for the second stage. Lots of wadis and rolling, rocky tracks. The 200 kilometers to Mamed will be identical to last year with fast tracks, but some tricky navigation in the mix. About 10 kilometers from the finish, the last challenge of the day will be some small but difficult dune crossings. In total, 333 kilometers between Tarda and Mamed await the teams, 330 of which are timed. On two wheels, the field has never been so wide and so varied. Young taking on veterans, and some are even riding in their father's footsteps, notably Konrad Dabrowski. His father, Marek, was the first Polish rider to break into rally raids, getting into the top ten worldwide. His water carrier back in the day, Jacek Chachor, still rides, but this time with Dabrowski Jr. At 18 years old and in his first marathon rally raid, Konrad finished seventh today, just behind Chachor. In the top three today, the current title holder, Alessandro Baturi. He started first this morning, but as often happens in that case, he lost a few minutes, but nothing too serious. The rally is very long and Mauritania will be difficult. He just needs to stay in touch with the front runners. He finished third today. Just behind a new face on the Africa Eco race, that of Lyndon Poskett. Following an accident seven years ago, he decided to follow his dream to race on every continent. In the finale of his Races to Places mission, he came second today on stage two. Really good stage, very fast, uh, very easy to miss something on the roadbook, and the, the roadbook is very good, but you have to stay on it. You could easily have a big accident, and I'm really happy to be here safe. Uh, it was a great day riding with uh, Alessandro, it was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I caught him, but the dust was so bad. I was like almost 100 kilometers riding in dust. And, uh, and then we swapped some times and then we just, I think we gave up and just rode together. So we just started riding next to each other. And it was, uh, it was a good day. I really had a lot of fun. As did Paul Anders Ulla Valseter. The Norwegian rider, former two-time winner of this race, was a little tense in Montan during the scrutineering. He hadn't been on his rally bike since finishing here last year, but the veteran soon got back into the saddle. Today saw his 26th Africa Eco Rage stage victory and at 52 years old, he still feels pretty good. My physical condition uh, is good. Okay. I had my physical job I have done, but uh, riding not because in May I crashed on the enduro bike and was out for, the, I, I touched the head in the ground and I had a headache for three months and yeah, so it's a shit year, but... If I can uh, win this stage, uh, I'm happy again. Today's stage results. Olive Alcetor ahead of Poskett and Boturi. Felix Jensen was fourth. First Frenchman Thibaut Chatelier was 26th. In the GC, Olive Alcetor jumped up nine places to take the lead with one minute 29 seconds over Boturi and two minutes one second from Poskett. Chasing your dream and never letting go is the philosophy of this former PE teacher from Belgium. At the age of 24, Geoffroy Noël de Burlin had a terrible snowboard accident that left him paralysed from the chest down. Never one to give in, the Belgian decided to overcome his physical challenges by turning to motorsport. His motto today, never give up. The idea is to never give up. Every time I face a challenge, I try to overcome it. Only a few weeks after his accident, Geoffroy founded X-Raids Racing that facilitates getting athletes with disabilities into sport with able-bodied people. For 15 years, he has been competing in rally raids as a driver and navigator, racking up good results, including some podium places. He's also the founder and organizer of the SSV European Trophy. I had the chance to do it with two paraplegics in a buggy. 
but now I'm here to do it alone. I did the Morocco Desert Challenge in 2019, which was a huge test. And now I'm here doing the Africa Eco Race, which is a childhood dream. A madman's project, some might say, but why not? At 40 years old, Geoffroy has raised the bar and is taking on this challenge solo in his SSV. In the Morocco Desert Challenge, he finished eighth out of 70 SSVs and was first Polaris. Now for the adventure of a lifetime. The Africa Eco Race is the stuff of dreams because it really captures the races of old. It's a legendary race and since I was a little boy I have wanted to take part. The dream has become reality. Today in the second stage Geoffroy came in sixth in his category. And in the SSV category, there promises to be lots of excitement this year. Here, again, the field has never been so extensive. Driving one of these little buggies is exhilarating. Last year, this man was solo and with no assistance vehicle. This year, Claudio Barbu decided to come back with a co-pilot, but the Romanian really wants to be on the podium this year, perhaps even on the top step. Today, he came fourth in the category. Behind Loic Fribourg, who was here two years ago in a T2 vehicle. Beside him is Frank Boulet, a former jet ski rider who switched to SSVs. They also want to be on the podium in Dakar. They came in third today. A little over three minutes behind Alexandre Duban, second today. He is also a jet ski enthusiast and of sport in general. He did the Dakar in 2004 with Marc Joanneau. Alexandre Duban is looking for fun and excitement and to get a bit of a taste of the rallies of old alongside his co-pilot Patrick Lardot. Duban Lardot was second today behind their patron and team leader Benoit Fretin. Yesterday's overall stage winner, the man from Brittany beat them all in his SSV. Two stages, two wins. You couldn't wish for a better start to the rally for this ever cheery driver. He's here to have a blast and he's making the most of every day. A beautiful stage with tricky navigation in three or four places we had to really rack our brains. A very bumpy stage with lots of stones. A purple of hills with steep descents. We saw some beautiful places. When you're up high you can see all the tracks everywhere. It was really pretty, we drove well, we made no mistakes, we didn't get lost, we didn't get a puncture. At the refueling point we were ahead. No one overtook us, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> the results from today are as follows. A second victory for Benoit Fretin ahead of Alexandre Duban and Loïc Frebourg. A great performance for Geoffroy Noël de Burlin, who finished sixth. In the GC, Fretin remains at the top with eight minutes over Alexandre Duban. Noël de Burlin makes it into the top five at five. Yesterday was a day for the SSVs. Today, the trucks had their fun. Three of them in the top five, ahead even of one of the favourites, Yves Fromont. The lawyer from Lyon, with masses of rally experience, finished the day in fifth place alongside his son Jean, his co-pilot for a few years now. But in the car, the father-son relationship is put aside and it's all about competing. Even without a clutch, they finished fifth today. Behind the Scania of Caroli Fazikas, you may have seen the Hungarian driver in the World Cup cross country, most memorably in 2015, but now he has his sights set on a podium place here. The former Kovac team driver is here in his big first rally raid. He even bought his old boss's truck. Good idea, he drove it into fourth place today. A little more than 21 minutes behind one of the outsiders for the win in Dakar. Often seen as one to watch, Patrick Martin rarely disappoints, but had to abandon two years ago. 
After a 38th place yesterday, he's back on form today with his son Lucas by his side. Together they navigated the route and came home third. We started quite far back. It was quite complicated to overtake everyone because there were lots of people going slowly in the dust. We had to find the right moment with the least risk. You need to always pay attention, especially when you come off the track. So yes, we're happy we navigated well, it went really well. I'm really happy to have finished near the front. Indeed, third, less than two minutes behind Miklos Kovac. The Hungarian driver is at the wheel of an impressive Scania. He has come back to compete with one goal in mind, to cut down his competition while retaining his usual huge smile and legendary sense of humour. God was looking out for me. We hope it all goes well. A truck in second and a truck in first. Not something we see very often on the Monaco Dakar. Today a Belgian takes the victory. Igor Borns won today in 3 hours, 46 minutes and 29 seconds. So the second stage went to Bowens of Belgium at the wheel of his Iveco. Three trucks in the top five and Noel Essers in sixth. Fretin's SSV was eighth. In the GC, a historic day as a truck takes the overall race lead for the first time ever. Kovac from Bowens. The first car, that of Patrick Martin, is third ahead of Yves Romand and the SSV of Benoit Fretin. That's all we have for today. Onward south for the Africa Eco Race tomorrow. The third special will be a hard mix of endurance and navigation with 497 kilometers between Mamid and Assa. But before then, here are some of the best images of the day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.